Battleship. Growing up, I really loved this game. The only downside to it was always finding someone who wanted to play it. It was a bit tedious to start playing. It's one of those games that gets better towards the end of it. Sure, there was the fancy version of this game called Electronic Battleship, but my parents would never buy it for me. They always said it was just a bunch of bells and whistles, and the basic version was the same thing. And they were right. It was just a bunch of sound effects, but the commercials always made it look so cool. Now, this is not the first time that I reviewed a Battleship video game. I also reviewed the movie tie-in that came out for the Wii. It was way different, and I'll link up to that review at the end of this one, if you want to see the strange ways they took that license. If you've never played Battleship before, you place five different ships of different sizes on a 10x10 grid. You take turns bombing individual squares until you or your opponent finds the ships. There is a little bit of strategy in it, but for the most part, you're going to need a lot of luck. Now, they do have the most basic version of it against a CPU. If you want to play against another person, you're going to need to find a game online, or use a complicated system where you need two phones, and you connect to a lobby, or you can connect your two phones, or you can play it off those. I wasn't able to test this since I don't have two phones, but according to the ratings on the app, it seems to be problematic with it dropping people out of games. They let you freely pick where you want your ships. You can rotate them around as long as you stay in the grid. Or you can let the game randomly pick where you put them. Then you play a normal game of Battleship. And honestly, I found it dull. Not playing against a real person and seeing how they react to hits and misses was a bit anticlimactic when I did end up winning. Sure, it was cool when they show you the animations of the ships blowing up, but it just wasn't the same. However, the classic game is not the only way to play this. There is a much better, faster paced, and much more enjoyable version of it called the Enhanced Version. The boards are smaller and have different configurations. Plus, you could do more powerful attacks to your opponents, or the same to you. The different characters you play as have different powerful attacks, so you can pick a character that more fits your playstyle. Some of them at high enough points can fire a torpedo, which will keep going in a line until it finds a ship. Or it might just have them doing a random bombing attack. Depending on how powerful the attack is, the more points it's going to take to do it. You get two points per round, and you also get one point every time one of your ships is hit. It really helps even out the games, since you can do a really powerful attack if you get bombarded in a previous round. I can't emphasize enough how much I enjoyed this. It was just a lot of fun. So much that I really didn't want to go back to the classic version. They give you plenty of reasons to keep playing as there's goals to achieve. And when you do, you'll level up. Leveling up will unlock new game board configurations in the enhanced mode and new characters with new abilities to use. There's also an online mode. And this might shock you, but I actually found someone in it. And it worked perfectly. I don't know if I just got lucky and someone just wanted to play Battleship, but I was happy to actually be able to test this for once. Battleship was a lot of fun. I didn't particularly like playing against the CPU in the classic game, but the enhanced version was outstanding. At the time, I had a couple other games I needed to play in order to review them, but I kept going back to Battleship's enhanced mode. I picked this up for $3.99, and it's completely worth it at that price. However, the normal price for this was almost $20, and that is too much. The enhanced mode is way more enjoyable than you might expect, so if you can find this for anything under $10, I say go for it. <laughs>